World Freshwater Spearfishing Championships in Lake Al. We have almost 60 divers from 10 different countries. Well, I'm Dale Sanders, and I'm in Page, Arizona, filming the World Freshwater Spearfishing Championships in Lake Powell. I'm here because uh, this used to be my world. I dove at the national level in the late 50s through the mid 60s. I have been staying pretty close with my team members and my friends for over the years, 50 years, whoo, more than 50 years. So today it's three point per fish, doesn't matter which one it is, striper, walleye, or catfish. Tomorrow is, uh, is uh, carp only, one point per carp, doesn't matter the size. So tell us about this lake as compared to other lakes in the United States. Well, it's certainly probably one of the more unique ones, and it's an extremely beautiful lake and with a wide you got that of right. fish. So <laughs> it's really uh, can be challenging. The lake's constantly changing. So some days the fish are there, some days the fish aren't there. So it's a good lake for uh, testing people's skill. And they will be going out here in about 45 minutes where they will be spearing game fish that are legal for spearing and mostly uh, stripers. They're gonna get a lot of stripers today. One o'clock, they gotta be back in, ready for the weigh-in. Woo -hoo. Time to go. Good luck, guys. It was tough diving. I think we did okay. Looking at the scoreboard, we're currently, our team is currently in second place. Woo, wee, wee, woo. You're a diver and the president. And I'm running it, yeah. So actually, the first competition I ever competed in for spearfishing was at this lake, 2018 uh, US Nationals, Freshwater Nationals here at Lake Powell. Oh, and yes. so that's that's how my journey and in this And who started. organized that? Uh, Mike McGuire was involved. We slowly formed a spearfishing group called Rocky Mountain Spearfishing Association that's now changed to National Freshwater Spearfishing Association. So we've been doing national level freshwater tournaments for 20 years now. 
and eventually we started having international teams coming over and diving with us. They yeah, came in you. and said, wow, these freshwater nationals are fun. Let's take it to the next level. It's a neat thing and I think it's just only gonna grow and I would not be surprised at all if we double and triple in, in size in the, in the coming years. We're just about ready to finish the first day of this World Championship Spear Fishing Contest. We have the boards, the tally boards, and the masters. I know being an older person, I won't say how old I am, but being an older person, I know more of these folks than I do those younger folks up above. For day one, this is a two-day tournament, and day two, there won't be a lot of fish coming in today, but tomorrow with the rough fish day, these two boards are gonna have a lot of poundage on them. <laughs> All the way from Italy, look at this. The Italian team here at Page, Arizona in the World Freshwater Spearfishing Competition. Woo, thank you guys for coming to this. Okay. Tell me, have you been to the United States before? Okay. Siete stati in America prima, precedentemente? No, mai, mai prima time. volta. Never, first time for me. Do they have to dive deeper in Italy to get the fish, or didn't they do here? In, in Italia, vi immergete più profondi, vero? Sì, si. si, molto più profondi. Yes, much, 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 much more. Much, much deeper. <laughs> they said that if the people from here are competing in Italy, that would be tough before that. It would be tough, <laughs> yeah, it would be very tough. These guys go deep. Together. Yeah. For if I'm not mistaken, you're going to be representing the United States in Spain, is that right? That is correct. Woohoo! That's coming up. How was this dive today compared to what do you think Spain is going to be? Completely different. <laughs> uh, for one, there's a lot of fish in this lake. Spain is not known to be very fishy, but it's a tournament, so if I shoot one more fish than you, then I beat you. Yeah. This was a more exciting tournament just because there's a lot more targets to shoot at. We saw quite a lot of fish. I missed a few, had a few rip off, but I ended up with seven total. And I competed here last year in nationals and I got six. Both my partner and I did better than last year, but I did better, maybe everyone else did better. You wanna go away one of them? I am so pleased that you guys came up all the way from Australia. Literally the other side of the world. You managed to find the right place. How do you do that? Well, you know, it's kind of thinking about why would the fish be there? Would it be spawning there? Would there be a food source there perhaps? Uh -huh. uh, a nice place to hide somewhere out of the sun? I used to scout a lot. Yeah. And I never found out where to dive. I found out where not to dive. Yes. And I, the process of elimination. But that's half the story, right? Uh, yeah. It's always like that. And remember, I can hypothesize as much as what I want about where I think that fish is going to be. But until I test it, until I get in the water, on that day, and I find them, it's all for naught. There was dirty water on the top, and it was clean. The last meter or the last three feet of water was quite clean, like really clean. Did you wear a wetsuit today? Yes, yeah. Because so, so, when you pass the thermocline, how, what's the temperature change? It felt like about sort of 15 degrees Celsius. Yeah, but, but, that's yeah, about 50 yeah, degrees. Yeah. yeah. I, after three hours, Ooh. I was shivering. Like I, yes, I had to get right. back on the boat and just have a drink of water, lie in the sun Ooh. for five minutes. <laughs> you, how many teams do you have from New Zealand? Uh, we got three teams. Three teams, yeah. folks, from yeah. New Zealand. Yeah, right down the bottom of the world. And how many years have you been diving? Uh, this will be my fifth. 53rd year. Did you hear that folks? Yeah. Well, did your dad dive too? Yeah, my dad is was a New Zealand spearfishing champion. He's still alive. And my son is New Zealand spearfishing champion as well. So we're three <laughs> generations. Three generations of national champions? Yeah, yeah. Is there anybody in the world that can beat that record? I doubt it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Jump it all. Yeah. Jump it all. And pick up your big fish. So tell us about today. How does it compare to what you're used to? I haven't really spearfished for 17 years. So oh my gosh, you had a wonderful catch today. Uh, yeah, I lost about half of it. What happened? Uh, just rusty. Just rusty? Yeah. <laughs> Silly mistakes that I shouldn't, wouldn't have made before, you know, it's uh -huh. rusty. Ring rust. 6.74. 6.74. Yes. You came all the way from? From England, yeah. Uh, salt water is just completely different. Um, it's like people who like mountain biking or road biking. They're, they're just different sports. And uh, 
the sea is so loud you can hear noise all the time the shells the other fish the waves in the in the lakes it's silent it's just you you can't hear anything and uh, it's quite eerie getting used to the silence of, of oh, the lake yeah. how does this compare to freshwater and i think do you have big lakes in australia for we freshwater? do we've got beautiful big lakes but it's illegal to spearfish in uh, in any of the freshwater lakes in australia so this is the first time i've ever spearfished in freshwater so I think it's the future of competitive spearfishing. The ocean's struggling to deal with all the pressure it's under and hunting uh, pest good, species good. in freshwater is probably, if we want to continue competing in years to come, I can't see a, a better way of doing it where we're looking after the environment. Good morning, guys! Adios! Uh, Anna, are you going to shoot those cars? We are going to shoot all the cars. All the cars, baby. <laughs> we might sink the Today we did something different. We weren't going after the game fish, we were going after the carp. It kind of reminds me of back home diving in Tampa Bay. It's similar type, similar water conditions. Uh, we shoot a lot of sheephead fish there, so it's like we go out and shoot as many sheephead as we can, like shooting carp here. And we went back into one of the bays and it was shallow, like probably like four feet of water. Very low vis, you probably see three feet, maybe. And uh, just swimming around in, in, the, in the weeds looking for carp. I probably lost as many as I turned in today. Well, there's carp in muddy water and they're stirring it up, so there might be carp there, but it's hard to shoot them. There. What if you just get down underwater and you just shoot? You Do you try? Hit? You try have, you ever, have you ever tried that? I well, last time I did, thing. Spencer lost a finger, so he stopped yeah. after that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> where's, where's, where's Dale? Right there. Yeah, I oh, did yeah. lose <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the reasons why they want to have the day of carp spear fishing is to help get rid of some of this. The problem with the invasive species carp is that they're just simply taking over not only Lake Powell, but most of the lakes in the United States. So it'll help the ecosystem in the lake and at least to some degree. And we probably ought to be doing it more often because they are affecting the game fish. the most carp. The boat is a mess. These are all fish eggs. They've just caked and they're like glue. They just glue themselves to everything. Well, Ryan and Shelby, I, it's not often that we get to interview a husband and wife team. Were you married already when you first started? Uh, no. No, I kind of introduced it to it. And then I met him and he's like, hey, I shoot fish underwater. Do you want to try? And I said, absolutely, I want to try. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Uh, nine. Nine, nine, years, nine ago. years ago. Wow. <laughs> I tell you, I was very impressed you. with your catch. And that striper that just happened to come by is that, and you couldn't resist. Nope. Even though you can't weigh it in the day. Why didn't you get that one yesterday? Wasn't there yesterday. I saw this big shape come in, just like a shadow, and I'm like, that's a really weird shaped carp. And I couldn't identify the fish. And another one came in closer, and I saw the stripes, and I am like, oh my gosh, that's a striper, and instinct just shot. 
Um, and at first I didn't see where I hit it. I could tell I hit it because it started dragging me. But <laughs> I let it just go. So my gun is set up on a breakaway. And I hear her scream and I look up and I just see splashing. From a, I'm on the other side of the bay. She starts whooping and hollering and holds the fish up. I couldn't see it at that point though. I looked, I could tell it was something white. It was really odd. She couldn't hold it all the way out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I tried to hold it up and I just go under. Oh, it's really heavy. I'm going to put it down. Okay. Got it? Yeah, bring it down. Yeah, that's right. Watch your oh, One point per carp. The diver chews his heaviest uh, fish and that gets weighed and you might kind of break the tie at the end. 14.52. Did you want to take it home? No. <laughs> you sure? Cook him up for dinner? Yeah. 29, 30, 31. 31. 36, 37. I gotta find a slob. It's so. right here, one of these. I'm leaning There's a really big one under here. 16.04, 14 14.68, 15.24, 16.60, 16.64. Go for it, girl, a little slack work. For a ground, for a ground. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, snow angel, do a snow angel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, don't get your hair. Come oh. on. Come on, have a shower. One more, let me get one more photo oh, here. I don't think a shower's gonna do enough. Oh, yeah! I don't think anything exists that can fix this now. You know how many fish I'm gonna catch? This is like real good. These are all your fish. I'm gonna, they're gonna feel like I'm one of them. <laughs> Hey, you could be in it. <laughs> it literally feels like a looped up oh, wetsuit. Yeah, 18.62. 18.62. That's right. 20.48. Michael, Carmilla. This is my daughter slash partner. <laughs> We're in the mixed team. You guys came all the way here from Guam to dive in this fresh water at Lake Pine. <laughs> yeah. Guam is very beautiful, but the fish are pretty trained. There's a lot of fishermen that live in Guam, so if you can catch fish on Guam, you're doing pretty good. 64! I think you're lucky enough in the US where your lakes are so big and so plentiful that I can't see it damaging the fish stocks in the same way it might do in somewhere like the UK. And I think it's great that you're able to target the invasive species like carp. There's nothing else you could do that would target them specifically other than spearfishing um, to help the other fish thrive. So I think there's a real place for it actually here in America. Justin! You've been around a long time, young man. And I have known you so many times. I've seen you. You're always a lively. You always just have a positive attitude about you. We had an amazing, amazing day out in the water. It's, every day in the water is a good day, right? Um, I, unfortunately, uh, the fish that I scouted weren't home today. <laughs> I think they made their way down the coast, and there was a couple of guys out there that crushed it. So 115 fish in six hours, that's like one every two and a half minutes. Oh, wow. Wow, which is just mind-boggling. It is. You know, so it is. congratulations to those two guys that did well. 100. Okay. 100. Right oh, Woo! 106 is the count. 106. 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, and 115. Woo!
18 year hiatus. Kick my ass. Stop, stop, stop. Alright. Want to work with well the. Well done. Smile. Put your fingers up, number you got. One, two, three. Two, three. Oh, oh. Girls, help them down here, will you? Here we go. Hockey, hockey, hockey. Hockey, hockey. I suck at spear fishing. I just got really <laughs> lucky, and uh, I don't even know how it happened. Fish just kept swimming into my gun. It's awesome win for us. Yesterday, I didn't shoot a single fish in the first day of competition, so we scouted, and the day before, there was thousands of fish, dumb, slow fish, and when we went there the next day, there was literally zero fish. I shot two fish. They tore off how it goes sometimes so I ended the day with zero points I was sad the first day I was so embarrassed to even come to the weigh-in Garvel <laughs> gave me a pep talk told me to come so I came that night we sat on the boat and we said you know what we didn't win game fish but we're gonna win tomorrow for sure if anything we're gonna shoot the most fish tomorrow and we did yeah. so to come out today and get the highest total of fish was amazing so, and my partner Darvel here yeah. shot 106 fish, brought us top men's team. And Darvel here took first place in Worlds for individual men's because he shot a bigger carp than me. We both had 115 points. Yeah, we had the same. I can't believe we tied, dude. That is nuts. <laughs> I've always told the best diver out there is having the most fun. Yep. And, uh, you know, I think all of us had great fun out there. So we were all great divers. We're all winners. Yeah, and you would yeah. miss it more than right. Great people. Great, great friendship. Great people. Camaraderieship. Yes. In fact, some of the best camaraderieship around, you know, which is why I'm happy to keep coming. You know, third time at one of these competitions, I'll be back. That's incredible, you know, everything about it. About this lake, about people, about new friendship. I love to be here. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and it's, it's cool to see people from so many different backgrounds, you know, from so yep. many different uh, walks of life coming out here and enjoying spearfishing and the camaraderie, the smack talking, the high fives, the, you know, chesty out. And even the, the clothes chest. pins and the hair. You know, it's, <laughs> it's all fun and it's such a family, family event, which is just amazing, you know. So, I mean, we've got, you know, I've seen kids here that were 12, 13 years old, Kelston, you know, now he's Yeah, yeah, I, know, I remember when Mike was, his dad was <laughs> born. That's insane. <laughs> and look at this legend. This is a mother trucking legend right here. And uh, if you guys don't know who this man is, just Google him real quick and you got hours of entertainment. You know, the quality of people that come to be here are just amazing. Uh, mingling with everybody and hanging out with everybody, it's humbling. I can't believe that we won, but caliber the guys we're diving against are just incredible so uh, I feel very fortunate and I know Fernando feels the same. Yeah it was awesome diving with people all over the world. One thing about spearfishing I swear it brings the best caliber of people. In the yes it, it, it really does and it, it, when it gets in your blood man it's just there isn't it? Woo! Woo -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> Champion! Champion! Yeah. Woo! Spear fishermen people really have a positive attitude about life. And I've been here with, with 55 divers from all over the world the last four or five days, and every single one of them are just bubbling with personality. I've never seen that many great divers in one place at one time in my whole life, as I've seen this past four days here at Lake Powell.